Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Sam today I bring you my review of Xiaomi backed gaming phone, the Black Shark. But first things first, I'm not a gamer, I'm not even a big fan of gaming and I always hate playing games. So if I acted stupidly in the game, please don't give me shit, alright? The video includes unboxing, design, camera test, gaming test and the making collusion. Without further ado, let's get started. Not every package comes with this free stick controller unless you're one of the first 50,000 buyers of this black shirt phone. Open the box, we see a black card with text. You are a gamer. No, I'm not. Let's shark. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Even I translated it into Chinese. A phone, if it's much smoother and curvier than I thought, we can do that later. A simple case, some stickers, film, two manuals, one for the phone and one for the stick controller. A charger supports quick charge 3.0, a USB Type-C cable and a 3.5mm headphone jack to Type-C connector. The Bluetooth stick controller is in another box. It has internal 340mAh battery and you can play games with it for 30 hours on a single charge. That's it! The Black Shark features a 6-inch 2.52K resolution display, the fingerprint scanner lies on the front, there is this shark key in the left side, which enables you to enter the high performance game mode, no annoying wife calls, no notifications from your boss, that's super nice for some fanatic gamers. The back features a dual 12 megapixel plus 20 megapixel rear camera setup, dual tone LED flash, will compare with iPhone 8 Plus later. A sad thing is, it doesn't have a headphone jack. Anyway, the whole phone feels elegant and has a much better hand feel than I thought. I just like it, even this part is so. Camera performance has always been a weak point for Xiaomi phones, but in the launch event, it always beats the shit out of iPhone and Samsung Galaxy. So, how exactly about this one? Let's compare it with iPhone 8 Plus. As we can see the floor down there, iPhone keeps much more details than a black shark that wins for the most true life representation of color. The whole image looks clean and less noisy than a black shark. Let's check more samples. The dynamic range and overall detail clearly is not as good as an iPhone. It lost details in both highlights and dark parts. But there's one thing I like to point is it does a good job on the portion mode, much better than iPhone 8 Plus. In a beta light condition, Xiaomi tends to boost exposure in order to achieve a more pleasing viewing experience. I will leave it to you to judge. For video, I enabled the stabilization on Black Shark, which you didn't talk about. That seems doesn't help that much. Overall, for me, Black Shark still needs more work on camera optimization, especially in low light environment. It has great portrait mode, but that's not enough. Anyway, who gives a shit about the camera performance? On a gaming phone. Let's just jump to the last but not least gaming test. Again, I'm not a professional gamer, don't judge me. Maybe on it. Oh man, it's superb, really, really smooth when playing games. I don't feel any lag or frame drops. The only problem for me to win a game is to find a good partners, otherwise, I will never win. But there's one thing I want to say about it it's getting too warm after minutes of game playing, like really warm. Seems like the so called liquid cooling system is just uh, not that cool. And this brings to my conclusion. There are pros and cons about this black shark phone. The positive sides are it features the strongest specs you could ever find in the phone market up to now. Snapdragon 845, Adreno 360 GPU, up to 8GB RAM, budget price, the design is elegant and beautiful, and a great loudspeaker. The 
yeah, the big battery. The downsides are, you know, the poor camera performance, no headphone jack, and yes, yeah, getting warm too fast. I personally would suggest you just buy it if you are a heavy gamer. Without doubt, it would bring you the best gaming experience in this price range. But you know, I will always hate gaming. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sammy. Until next video, stay subscribed. <laughs> Bye,